As for the Aggies, the team had nearly an identical situation. NMSU hosting 4-15 and Chicago State, and yet again you think this is a guaranteed win. Would the Aggies succumb to their opponent's level or get to win number 11? Menzies telling Siakam to go out there and get another double-double. Why not? In the first half, Siakam was listening because he gets the board. He's going to miss the putback, get his own board again, and finally will get it to go. But, hey, he's just padding the stats. And later in the half, Siakam wide open, and he's going to finish at the rim with authority with the one-handed jam. But take a look at this. ABC7 GM Kevin Lovell and photographer Tom Scott receiving the game ball during a timeout for their support of NMSU Athletics. And in the second half, it was much of the same. Wilkins wide open, gets the layup to go. But this was the exclamation point of the night. Baker all alone throws it down, excuse me, Taylor all alone throws it down with the reverse jam, and that is how it's done. The Aggies cruise at home, 80-62. to The last half against UMKC wasn't very good at all, but there, there was an opportunity to learn there, and that's what we did, and we carried it over to tonight, and so I'm excited about the growth, and now we just keep grinding this thing out. So, I mean, I feel like we're, we're coming together as a unit. We're kind of figuring out what we need to do in order to get wins on a night-to-night -night basis.